Now we are going to examine the throat of the patient. In examination of the throat of the patient, we must examine the oral cavity, oropharynx, and then the larynx of the patient. So we'll start with the examination of the throat. For that, we use this tongue depressor. The tongue depressor has got this curve so that when we are putting the tongue depressor on the tongue, the hand is not in our way. We can see the oral cavity clearly. If it is straight, then the hand is coming in our way. If this thing, the hand is not coming in the way of the examination. Then for posterior laryngoscopy, uh, indirect laryngoscopy, we use the indirect laryngoscope mirror and we use the this uh, cotton uh, square gauze. With the square gauze, we'll hold the tongue and with this help of the this mirror, we'll examine the larynx. We'll demonstrate this in a minute. So we'll start with the examination of the oral cavity and oropharynx. We'll focus the light on the patient's face and mouth. Now we'll take the tongue depressor. We'll instruct the patient ki aapka gala dekhna, jiga. Then with the help of tongue depressor, we'll depress the interior two-thirds of the tongue. Before that, we will examine the cheeks, the vestibule, the gums, the teeth, the side of the tongue, margins of the tongue, and then we will examine the oropharynx, the hard palate, soft palate, posterior pharyngeal wall, and the lateral walls of the oropharynx. The lateral wall of the oropharynx has got palatine tonsils. The roof is formed by the soft palate. The posterior wall is visible at the back. In the end, we'll ask the patient to say ah, bolo ah. Ah. By when the patient says ah, we check the movement of the soft palate. Once we have examined the oral cavity and the oropharynx, then we will examine the larynx of the patient. The larynx of the patient first is the external part of the larynx, and a shape and a tenderness, and we will feel the crepitus. And with the help of the indirect laryngoscope mirror, examine of the larynx, first the external part of the larynx, this is the Adam's apple, the cricoid cartilage, this is the cricothyroid membrane, we do cricothyroidotomy in this place. We will look for the laryngeal crepitus. There will be crepitus which we will feel with our fingers. Then we will go inside to see the larynx from inside which is called indirect laryngoscopy. We will instruct the patient to open the mouth, bring the tongue out. Zuban baan nikal lenge, wo mein is se pakar lunga. Dard nahi hogi, mirror se aapka throat examine karenge. Dard aapko nahi hogi, bilkul relax nana. So first of all, we will warm the mirror. We will check it on our own hand that it is not too hot and we will check it on the patient so that the patient is confident it is not too hot. We will hold the tongue with the help of this gauze. Then we will recheck the mirror and then we will put the mirror facing downwards into the throat of the patient, push the uvula back Then we will ask the patient to say E, bolo E. Number uh, sounds. E. Uh, Good. So once we have done this thing, by asking the patient to say E, we see the movements of the vocal cord, any pathology on the vocal cord, and any other inflammation, swelling, which is visible on indirect laryngoscopy can be seen. Now don't forget, in the end, you must examine the lymph nodes of the neck which is the most important part of the examination of the throat. We will go at the back of the patient. So we will go at the back of the patient. We will instruct the patient when you have to feel the Expose the patient's neck properly. Once you have exposed the patient's neck, we will start from examination of the submental lymph nodes. 
submental lymph nodes will palpate from the palmar surface of the fingers, submental lymph nodes, then, then submandibular lymph nodes, then along the interior border of the sternomastoid muscle, the interior cervical chain, then the supraclavicular lymph nodes on both sides, then along the anterior border of the trapezius muscle, the posterior cervical chain, then pre-auricular lymph nodes, post-auricular lymph nodes, and then occipital lymph nodes. So submental, submandibular, anterior cervical chain along the anterior border of sternomastoid, supraclavicular, posterior cervical chain along the anterior border of the trapezius muscle, pre-auricular lymph nodes, post auricular lymph nodes, occipital lymph nodes. So you must examine all the groups of the lymph nodes. Thank you.